kids definitely would if they if we have kids in Africa, they would definitely consider themselves African. But I know people that's born in America, but still like they would say they Mexican, Puerto Rican, or some of those. I got a, I got a good analogy. Yeah, I got one too. Yeah, about the fruit. Because yep. the seed, right? If you have an apple seed, if you have two apple seeds, one is planted in China, the other one is planted in uh, America. 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 Yeah. What's going to come forth? Yeah, the soils may be different, the climate may be different, but the seed of that seed is still going to be an apple tree, regardless of what soil is placed. placed in. Good, good analogy. Just, I may have grown up in a crib neighborhood, but if I move to a blood neighborhood, but I'm still a crib. You know, just using it in that net. It does, it, just because you live somewhere don't mean that you're where you live. Exactly. They put that on. Yeah. You're who you are before you live there and after if I move again. So is it safe to say we really don't know who we are or where we came well, from? Well, this gives us the identity. Because no one has an answer of who we really are. They always bring us back to slavery. They might bring us back to Africa. They might bring us back to... And we, always, and we always come through too. A, a man and a woman. So if the man from somewhere and the woman from somewhere different, like I got a Puerto Rican baby mama. Right. So what would that? It's uh, he just remember. explained it with his analogy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Seed. Your seed. Man has the seed. Man got the seed. And the, when you look in the scripture, when you look for the word seed, it's sperma. Okay. Which is your sperm. Women don't have that. If I, if I put, like he said, the soil like the egg and it's fertilized, but whatever kind of seed it is, it don't matter. Then he credits. Is he white or black? Many crabs. No, he's daddy. So he white. He's daddy so called. Uh, his mama looked that way, that's what he did. But everybody considered him what? Right, but when you look at his type of spirit, who he vibes that's what you, that's how the spirit, you say spirit, you bear witness with you. But just because a black dude who rock and roll, and his, I got a brother that, Chuck that Berry. Loved, huh? Chuck Berry, the, the, they call him the, the, the inventor or the godfather of rock and roll, whatever they call him, I forgot the title, mm -hmm. he was black, right? right? It's not about what he's doing, yeah. it's about the spirit in him. That, that goes back into the scripture. Uh, so it's not about our physical color. No, hell no, no. no. It's about the spirit in it. Right, right, right. right. Why you right. Read, uh, so, 16. so right. can we take on any spirit we want to take on? No, no. we have the, the, the spirit that's given unto us is the greatest spirit, the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we take this on. Okay. Why would you want to take on any other spirit? Yeah. But can you take on any spirit that you Spirits want to can take be, on? Yeah. I, I wouldn't be good. <laughs> It's yeah. not going to lead to the same place that the Holy Spirit yeah. leads to. At the end of the day, who, those that have this Holy Spirit on are the only ones that's going to make it out of this and get saved out of the destruction that the Bible prophesies. Right. right. But if back to the rock and roll thing, you said the Spirit, his, like Lenny Kravitz had a white father, but everybody identified him as black, right? Because they're looking at the outer man. Exactly. Right. But then you said the Spirit. The yep. spirit of who? His father? Yes, because yes. that, that gets passed down through your father. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, There's a Numbers 1 and 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the houses of their fathers. Pedigree is your, 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 your lineage. lineage. Yeah. According to the number of the names from 20 years upward by their poem. Mm -hmm. So it's showing you that they, they decreed who they were by their father law. Mm -hmm. That's why when you get married, the woman takes on the man's name. And the course. children takes on the man's name. Yeah. Now, they're trying to change this stuff now in recent history, but all the way back, it was always yeah, took on the course. man's name. Of course. You know, in, in modern history, yeah. You know, oh, the daddy did be, so I'm going to give it the mama name. She's not sure who the daddy is. I'm going to give it the mama name yeah. or whatever else. But you go all the way back. If you, if you were holding things the right way, you knew who that line was. You know, all nations are, are, are progenated by men. Right. Yeah. The nation of Edom. Yep. Esau, that's a man. Yep. Mm -hmm. The nation of Israel, that's the name of a man, Israel, yep. Jacob. The nation of, 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 of Ammon, that was Ham. Yeah, that, that was a Ham. Those are all the names of actual men. Yep. So it came to be nations of people. So if white people wanted to come and receive this, will they, will they be able to? If, if their spirit yep. is in line with it. Yeah. yeah. If, you if, 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 if they don't. They go back to these people. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and But we but we discern that by the righteous spirit of somebody. Because just like you say that, a black man or a Hispanic man can come up. And if they spirit ain't right, we going to send them up the block. Oh, you, this ain't for you, bro. This going to be yep. you. No, know, because we're looking. It makes it easy. We're looking for those that have 
that, that anointing of the Holy Spirit on you that's looking for you. Matter of fact, somebody grabbed it in uh, uh, Isaiah 29. Did you have the anointing? Uh, 28, 28. Did you have the anointing before you joined it? Well, the, the way the way it goes, I'm trying to think of the scripture that goes with that. Before I phone you in the belly, I need you. Jeremiah 1 and 5. Come on, yeah. bro. Somebody hit that Somebody first. get that, yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah 1 and 5. And the scripture says. It's literally going to say that. Yeah, it is. This is Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Mm -hmm. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. I cleansed thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. See? So you were already meant to be what you were meant to be before you came, before your parents even met. Before you, when your spirit was attached to the flesh of the, your parents, through that seed coming, you were already meant to have a job to do. You know, even the path of your soul, the soul of your spirit and your flesh together, was meant to go through the parents. So when people got fucked up parents, you was meant to go through that. It's going, and if you, this is for you, it's meant to connect you to go through those things, that adversity, to get through there. Good parents preserve you through to get you to, to where you are. But everything leads you to what you were called to do. Yeah. Okay, yeah. This is uh, Jude, one and, Jude 1 and 5. It says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, mm -hmm. though you once knew this, yep. how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, Afterward, destroy them that believe not. So to be educated means to, to go from uh, within. The other one. So it's already uh, in you. Remember, Second like Peter three. So yeah. we're up here. So if any of this is hidden with you, it's because it's, it feels like, hey, I knew that. Like this makes sense because I already knew. It. It's just clicking with you. I got so it. Yeah, yeah. On that scripture, on the process, you know, of reincarnation. If you were a prophet, you yeah. know, uh, you know, in your, in your uh, family lives, you would be a prophet now. So we go off our previous yeah. with Jeremiah, Isaiah, uh, Obadiah, etc. All those prophets written in the Bible, they're they're back doing the same thing. You know? Through every this, generation. This, this yeah. I got one too. This, this yeah. time. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 32. And it reads, And the spirits of the prophets are subject unto the prophets. Yeah. Right. There was always a, pro always a prophet since the beginning, since the garden. Who will be a prophet now? I have some. That means everybody comes to your life. Go ahead. Second Peter chapter 3. It says, In this second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, both which I stir up your, your minds by way of remembrance. Mm -hmm. Stir up your mind by way of remembrance. You know, basically, to store up, meaning to, 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 to kindle, to, yeah. to, to awaken. There's something in you that, that got awoken. In so it. let me ask you this. With the anointing and everything and all that, what about being delivered from sin? Is that necessary or not? Well, being delivered from sin is pretty much when you when, when first you have to acknowledge even what sin is. Which sin, according to the Bible, is transgression of the most high's uh, laws, right? It's given to Moses. You, you become delivered from your sins when you acknowledge that you were in sin. And once you acknowledge those sins, you turn away from them. You repent. You feel sorrow about what you've done and you move forward. And then you utilize the grace that we're under to, to get yourself right. So that when the Lord do return, you'll be adorned for his, his appearance. Right. Yeah, now let's say this. There's no 100 in this flesh that we live in. There's no 100 percent. Right. Only, yeah, gonna, only, yeah, only the son, sin in this flesh. who they call Christ, he was the only one that Gosh. that did it 100 percent. Right, right. To prove it could be done 100 percent, but we didn't have that special spirit like he had on him to do it 100 percent. We had the right. rest of the flesh, but he was still tempted like we were, but he did it. So now that him proving, he being that sacrifice gives us that grace the brother's talking about. To be able to, to work on it, but that's when it becomes an act of your faith. Showing your faith through the works of what you do. So now you can practice, even though bacon and shrimp and all these things that are transgressions in the Bible, you don't eat those things. You may have grown up with the sin before, but those just particularly you know many other things, but we don't do that no more. We don't eat that no more. We, we hold certain High holy days. What about what spirit. about the element of living holy? That that's all of that. Because really, the holy part is is to live 
without sin. Yeah. But, but we, 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 we rehearse the righteous act. If you rehearse, you're not going to be perfect. Right. But you're trying to be perfect. That's, that's, where, the grace, that's where the grace and that's mercy where grace comes, comes in. Because you break one law, you get, you get like punished. You broke them all, yeah. Yeah, and then some of those are, are put to death. So we make sure that we that we try to, not to break the ones that we are able to. Once you acknowledge, okay, I was doing this, and I don't have to. This is how I can live instead of doing Process. Well, some things is quick, some things is an understanding that has to come over you, and some of them take time. Uh, so right. yeah, some real quick. Uh, Romans 6 uh, 15. Yeah. Oh. Romans uh, 6 and 15. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Mm -hmm. So we're not we're supposed to be sinning on purpose, because back then, were, and if you go even further back in the time of Isaiah, he was prophesied about how our people would sin on purpose. Like, uh, what's the word? Premeditated sin? Because they knew that they could go sacrifice a turtle dove or whatever atonement for that, and they'd be all right. So the most I was like, nah, man, I ain't letting y'all. Y'all abusing the liberty I gave you. So now, you just have to hold yourself diligently to it. You know? And that, that, that's a, and trust me, it's a work. It's a work, yeah. But think about that. It's looked at as something positive in the sight of the Heavenly Father. That grace that you're really sustaining for certain things and keeping yourself away from certain things, he looks at that as a good thing. Because right, everybody else is not doing it. That's my last question. If a person that ain't from none of these descendants want to give their life to God, is this the right way to go? It's only going to be that if their spirit is yeah. going to go back to them. To those but can they still be saved? It, it, this it, is what I'm saying. Their bloodline, they're only going to resonate with them if their bloodline goes back. And so if we come up, say a white guy comes up, up here, and we go into what's going to happen to the white man, according to the scriptures, and he get all bent out of shape about it, then it's not for him. Yeah. But there's many of uh, so-called white people that do believe in everything that's going on and all of that that teach it and teach the same thing and, about the and white with, man. And with and that, they, they and with that, how do we know for sure that things ain't flipped around? Let's say the white man is the, the chosen one and the black man ain't. And can that be flipped around? Because think about it, all the curses, like somebody just mentioned something about the curses yeah, and yeah. the oppression. We go through it the most, the black, well, blacks, if we, decide to identify as that. Right. Blacks go through it the most. Mm -hmm. Whites not so much. So what if the shoe is on the other foot? What if they the chosen ones and we the cursed ones that gotta cry out for mercy and salvation? Mm -hmm. but wouldn't they be doing the right thing? Because when you look at their prophets, what are they doing? Teaching about the devil. Mm -hmm. Putting out things that, that don't align up with the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Versus what we're out here doing. We didn't assemble this. This is just what the Lord put together for us. And and this is okay. happening all over the world. I gotta say, I gotta say this, brother. We need to be more concerned with us right. than them. Right. They the one that brought Christianity to us yep. and put us in slavery and they did all the things that they was able to do. Deceived the whole world. Uh, uh, taught us a white version of who the world calls Jesus. Yep. They. they they got an answer to that. Us, now that we're starting to wake up and now we're starting to come to the knowledge of the truth, we should be concerned with our standing with, with the Most High. Right. Don't worry about these other nations. Yeah. Worry about you and your people. Yeah. I, 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 I guarantee, hey, yeah, trust me. Real. Trust me. Like this this world, yeah, like, huh? Oh, no, I'm quoting the scripture. I'm going to give like glory to the Lord. Yeah. So take Kanye for example, how he say, you know, how he say something to make everybody think he hate Jews and stuff like that. Right. And so, what if people don't want to identify with Israel? You see what I'm saying? Well, what do you mean, our people? Anybody. Well, they, they our okay. people or any well, of them. Well, the okay. scriptures call it incredulity. Disbelief. If you don't believe, then hey, it still doesn't. No, nah, not that. Up. I ain't saying not but everybody. But, Israel is the strongest nation. This, that's the only nation that had the same name hey, well, since forever. So people that don't want to identify with that and can't identify with that. Yeah.
and just say, you know what? But I still want to give my life to God, though.